bases are full. Drew Lanners with a great play. The to get the run and two rounds. Number nine, Greg Nettles, played for the New York Yankees from 1973 to 1983. In his 11 years in pinstripes, Nettles went to four World Series in 1976, 77, 78, and 81, going 2-2 two and two in those while winning back-to-back titles in 77 and 78. Nettles fit the model of most third basemen at the time, sure-handed in the field, hit for power with a moderate average. However, Nettles wasn't just sure-handed. He's arguably the greatest fielding third baseman in Yankee history and put on a clinic during the 1978 World Series, almost single-handedly winning the Bombers their second title in a row. If 77 was considered Reggie's year, 78 was Nettles. Greg took home the 78 ALCS MVP, registering a 333 average with one homer and two RBIs. Although his back came back to earth against the Dodgers in the World Series that year, his defensive performance goes down as one of the greatest in baseball history, making play after play in crucial moments to lead the Yankees to a 4-2 series victory. With the series win, the Yanks became just one of 13 teams to come out victorious in a best-of-seven series after falling behind 0-2. to two. A vacuum of third, Nettles was often compared to Brooks Robinson, the barometer at third for over two decades, who won 16 gold gloves with a lifetime fielding percentage of .971. Nettles sits just .1 behind at .961. Not bad company. Although his offensive numbers weren't jaw-dropping, the six-time All-Star, two-time gold glover, ALCS MVP, and two-time champ show that to be a great player, you didn't need to hit like the Reggie Jacksons and Theron Munsons of the world. Defense is just as, if not more important than offense, come October.